access to diabetes education is the focus of the second year of World Diabetes Day with a theme covering from 2021 until 2023. Now help us uh, make sense of what you consider the most lacking information in the public space. Uh, First, I would like to say um, nutrition information is um, something that is quite lacking in, in the general public. Um, we tend to see um, once um, patients are, diabetes, that are diagnosed with diabetes, um, they tend to, we always tell them, okay, avoid carbs, avoid, avoid carbohydrates. Um, but avoiding carbohydrates then puts a toll on, they, they tend to fill their plates or fill their diets with proteins, proteinous foods, and then this would also, this can then lead to further complications, further kidney complications. So um, one thing I would like to say is um, moderation when it comes to diabetes um, management. For your diet, nobody is, um, I don't think a, a health practitioner will tell you to avoid carbohydrate totally because that's like proper bad advice. So moderation on all um, aspects, on all food groups, you know, carbohydrate, proteins, um, fats and oil, minerals and all of that. Moderation is a key because if you're avoiding carbohydrate totally, you're putting, um, you definitely want to take protein more, which would then lead to um, kidney complications. Um, another um, information that I believe is lacking in the public would be um, proper diet management with medications. Okay, um, also we could also say something like um, timing of meals to complement drug usage. Um, a lot of diabetes are stuck or, or, or have to take their drugs um, regularly to, you know, maintain their insulin levels and all of that. Um, but most of them tend to skip breakfast. And this is actually a very huge deal for uh, in diabetes management. Your body has to know when to um, expect food. Food is um, one of the major reasons or major things that you can use to, you know, prevent or manage diabetes properly. Your body has to know when to um, expect food. Your body has to know, um, okay, this is the time I'm expecting food. You shouldn't even try to, you know, um, skip meals at any point because taking food, adequate food, um, adequate diet and um, drugs is, uh, that, that's like major reasons why yeah, you, that, that, you that's know, like one of the major uh, things. That would encourage, or that let, let me jump in here, Grace. Uh, uh, I, I hate to do this. Let, let me jump in here quickly before I let you go, uh, Grace. Uh, they say, experts like yourself have said that diabetes is reversible. Uh, and, if, and if that is the case, why are the numbers still rising? Sorry, I didn't get, I didn't get your question. Uh, if diabetes is, is reversible, as some experts have said, why are the numbers increasing? Okay, yes, um, I think diabetes actually can't be um, reversed, except we're talking about um, pre-diabetes or gestational diabetes. Gestational, gestational diabetes is diabetes in pregnancy. That's only when you can say, okay, yeah, after the... Um, lady after the woman puts to bed her blood sugar levels can go back to normal uh, but for type 1 and type 2 diabetes it cannot actually be reversed but it can be managed properly with proper lifestyle um, modifications and lifestyle changes which would include diet exercise um, type 1 and type 2 diabetes can be properly managed um, but for being reversible, that diabetes is actually not reversible. It's just all right. Okay, I'd like uh, I'd like to thank you for your time, Grace and Amlechi. Many thanks for speaking with us. Mm -hmm.